just to warm you up yesterday i explained you about firewall so i explain you what is what are the three different generations of firewall we used to have first generation firewall was called as what packet filtering second generation firewalls were application gateways third the one which we are using currently sorry so i told you how application layer gateway was not scalable and then packet filtering was also stateless that time but now cisco ios firewall is stateful now when we talk about networks or when we talk about firewall how to place the firewall okay so placing of firewall is important you cannot place one meter one fifty two dot one just one minute Okay, so this is a basic uh, topology where I have placed firewall. See, no doubt uh, we now have next generation firewalls, FTD. But still, in order to understand next generation firewall, you have to understand ASA also. It's not totally. it's not totally removed from the network still cci lab carries this firewall okay that means still people are having asa firewall in their premises of course when i started my security career that time we used to have pix firewall so soon there was a news that pix will get replaced by asa adaptive security appliance because pix firewall was only just a firewall and this is an appliance multipurpose <laughs> application multipurpose things can be done on asa it's not just a firewall it can do many things you now you can just can't put a tag of firewall there so when we stop using pix firewall people started buying asa firewall because asa was good in speed asa was hello 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 rabia uh, you are not able to hear me anyone else who is not able to hear me rabia you can disconnect and connect again sometimes it happens if all all of you can hear me then it's your you know there is some problem at your end okay. so dani is telling uh, voice is okay so when it comes to tell you about the firewall firewall earlier used to have only two side that is one is trusted and one is untrusted now what is trusted and what is untrusted so this is untrusted and this is trusted 
why this is untrusted because it is facing internet and why this is trusted because it is facing LAN. So, any time you want to suppose you you took out some money from ATM or bank and you want to count that money, you will not stand on road and count because if you stand on road and count either you will be get could kidnap or somebody might take away your money. So, it is always being said by your parents that if you whatever valuables you are have, having with you do not remove it when you are travelling in public transport or on road because road is not safe it is untrusted. So, when we talk about internet, internet is a shared infrastructure. If I am telling you shared infrastructure means all sort of people available there, some with the mentality to rob you, some with the mentality to hack into your network, some with the mentality to steal your data and sell it in open market. So, always there is a risk that is coming from untrusted to a trusted. So, always we consider our LAN as trusted and we consider our VAN as untrusted. Clear? Now, there is a case that I normally or I can say I am not fully trusting this my LAN. Why? Because if I am placing users and at the same time if I am placing server there, there is a chance that these users can communicate with this server easily without any policy. Why? Because the firewall will work only when the traffic either enter or exit. Simple when you have a security guard in your building like you know that security guard is near the gate of your building. So, if any time any neighbor do something to his neighbor, it is very difficult for that security to you know find out who did that because it is internal matter. He is standing near the gate looking after traffic which is coming from untrusted to a trusted. So, it becomes very difficult for him to look at internal. So, my firewall also cannot help it out if user is trying to do something to the server. And I told you there are disgruntled employees in the company who can do anything or any kind of harm. I am not talking about physical theft. For physical theft, physical damage, there are some policy and always security guard near your office premises will frisk you, find out if you are taking some laptop, you are taking some uh, anything. Because see office premises or company spending such a lot of money on laptops table, chairs, IP phones, you cannot take away all those things home, even you cannot carry one pencil or one eraser, it is com company property. So, nowadays when you go with your laptop in company premises, you have to make an entry of your laptop with the serial number and company name. Otherwise, you will take old laptop and you can just exchange your old laptop with the new laptop from the company and run away. <laughs> so, here I am not talking about physical theft, I am talking about data, I am talking about servers that we have in a company and I do not want this server should get robbed or do something and for that reason I semi trust this area. So, if I semi trust this area, 
I will make one more zone or you can say one more interface and that interface is called demilitarized zone called what demilitarized zone Dream it, demilitarized zone is nothing but you place servers there you can see E3 and E2 are considered as demilitarized zone ok E2 and E3 points towards switch and it is a demilitarized zone demilitarized zone means you place servers secondly many times these servers are commercial servers so commercial servers people will visit from internet here your whole business is on these servers so people might come in so if people are coming to these servers we don't want to keep this server in land simple you have an apartment which is facing road so you want to make a medical store in your premises so you won't make a medical store in your bedroom because if you make a medical store in bedroom what will happen people will come all the way to your bedroom to buy the medicine have you seen this kind of premises where the medical store or a dispensary or a general store in the bedroom because then you are having vulnerabilities people from you know all sort of people will come inside your bedroom to buy whatever like if you are having a medical store they will buy medicine if you have a pan bidi shop they will buy cigarettes and all those stuff so always remember you never place your medical store or this kind of general store inside the bedroom you always place near the road you know that the door is also separate and this door won't allow uh, this door will allow people to come and buy things but this premises won't allow you to enter into the living room it will be closed so demilitarized zone is having two purpose first i want to separate my servers from my lan users from my normal users so that when they come on server a policy is being applied on this to go here because i told you firewall is not a magician who can find out like many time in movies and all you see police coming late so you know people blame poli why police is coming late so this policeman always says we are not some kind of magician that you know just click and we will come to the crime scene somebody has to tell them inform them that there is a murder that took place or theft took place then only they will come and that also will take time they might come with a force so they need vehicle they need some guns so they might turn up at after one year, one hour so same way i don't want my lan users to get access to server so i have placed them in a demilitarized zone it's not militarized it is demilitarized suppose somebody do something to this server at least my lan is safe because all my crowd all the untrusted crowd is coming from internet and visiting this server so many time you see they clone these servers they might have one more demilitarized zone they they always keep the clone server so that if something happens to those server at least my original server is safe so remember you will have one inside you will have 
one outside and you can have multiple demilitarized zone where you can keep public server, private server, internal server, anything you can do it. Now, the good news is like ASA carries multiple physical interfaces, they might have 6, they might have 8. So, you can use those interfaces easily for designing this kind of topology. Now, many times the question arises is whether we should place the firewall in front of internet or we should place the router in front of internet. So, the answer is you can do anything, you can place your firewall in front of internet, you can place your firewall behind router also. But if you are placing your firewall behind router means he is doing his job by filtering the traffic which is coming in through R1 either allowed or denied. But my routing part or my NAT part or my other things can be handled by my router. So, router is working his role, firewall is performing his duty. So, if you place your firewall here, yes firewall can also do routing, firewall also can become a DSCP server, firewall can become a DSCP client, firewall can do URL filtering everything, firewall can do everything, but the question is why you want firewall to do everything. Suppose I am a, uh, I am a trainer from so many years and I have a skill set of teaching, okay. but then suppose for some reason like you know instead of training I have been given some other job. So, what happened? My talent, my expertise is in training suppose and if I am doing all the other jobs like you know I am a good tea maker. So, somebody tell me in office come on you make tea also. So, the thing is yes I can make tea at home, but that does not mean I come to office and make tea. There is a separate people for doing all those work. So, I have to just sit back and I have to just sit and you know look into training and be more you know I, I should deliver more better quality training concentrate on these things only. So, same way if I am placing my ASA behind router, he is going to do his own job of filtering the traffic, intercept the traffic managing those servers and router will do his own job of routing, NAT, you can do anything. So, it is not like that, that I am telling you that always place router first near internet and do like that, no. It is my recommendation or it is my way of handling this device that I place it behind router, because I want R1 should do routing and not ASA, but ASA also can do routing. ASA understand routing protocol RIP version 2 EIGRP OSPF. So, he can go for routing, he can go for DSCP, he can also do NAT. So, I hope you understood what I am trying to tell you about a firewall that in firewall you always have two direction inside and outside trusted and untrusted and the third direction or third interface or zone is demilitarized zone. Demilitarized zone means where you place the server it can be private it can be public clear guys. Now, in ASA what happened? There is the ASA working like you know you have to specify the name to the interfaces. Like normally when there is a 
and now when there is a newborn newborn baby you see people always consult their gurus or malvis and find out a very good name or suitable name for that child or sometimes parents already they you know nowadays we are quite forwarded parents like you know quite educated quite you know smart so we if there is a boy i will always name it like that if there is a girl i will name it so you see names are already decided before the child comes in comes out basically so same way my asa is also very sensitive you need to configure names to this interfaces otherwise it will never come up signal is weak i don't know yes i think my net is going somewhere now it's clear voice is still breaking now now it's clear okay so i will repeat it so i hope you understood demilitarized zone right there is no there nothing about demilitarized zone you understood that yes okay adnan say yes no sir. no sir means what still it is still the signal is not good okay you are clear so now we were talking about the interface naming of the interface is important in asa and we use some default names like we use inside outside dmz you can also use in out dmz you can also use munawar khan vijay anil anything he will accept it it is just a name yes or no so if i keep here you know if i keep the name of this interface as adnan okay and here i keep faizan and here i keep himanshu will it work will it work i explain this anyway i'll just explain you once again we can keep see we can keep our server in lan okay inside but then the problem is this server will be vulnerable no anyone can come and touch that server all lan users are not technical people man there are hr people there are accounts people there are clerks web designers so if i keep all the server along with them what will happen what is the security server is something which is serving you man it has to be on continuously so by mistake somebody switch off that server by mistake somebody is drinking tea on that server you know he is keeping his cup on the server and that tea goes inside the server if you keep it out what will happen people will have an easy access to those servers in the lan and i told you my lan is semi trusted i'll tell you one short example when when i used to go to school you know, in my school days we used to see one guy bringing lot of money he was my, he was a friend so he was sunil is like an you know, example sunil sunil is bringing lot of money and then he is offering us with treat also but we were restricted with money no money given tiffin box only so whenever there is a recess you will eat this tiffin box whenever you are coming back you will come back home and then take lunch no cash will be given to you no money will be given to you why you want money when everything is given to you but this guy used to spend lot of money on ice creams and lot of other stuff outside school 
So, we asked him one day, what, what is the reason, how can you bring so much money? So, he told us that his dad is keeping his purse on the table every time and the money is lying here and there. So, whenever the money is here and there, like you know, his dad keeps the money on the table or mom, he take quietly takes some amount from that that you know from that purse and keep it in the pocket. And he used to say proudly also, nobody cares, man, nobody bothers if I am taking some amount from their purse, nobody is bothered. So, we can have a nice treat then. Why you are asking all those questions, man? You enjoy the treat. And when I grew up, I noticed that this guy is having that habit of stealing. So, later on we found out that he is, you know, he did some stealing also from some mall or something like that. So, habit carries, na? first you are taking out money from your dad purse or you are taking out from your mom's purse, spending. So, I, I know, I know, I I, this incident was in my mind from childhood. So, when I grew up, got married, got one son and daughter, I actually remembered that incident. So, now what I used to do, no, when I go home from office, I do not keep my money here and there. I just keep it in the drawer and lock it. And what is the instruction given to the kids? that if you need money to buy books, pencil, pen, eraser, sketch pen, anything, any product. In fact, you want to buy chocolate also, you have to approach me. You are not going to take any money directly. You have to go, come and approach me. I will find out what is the reason why you want money and then I will give you a specific amount and you have to return back the balance amount. So, what happened now with this strict policy, still when they are grown up also they are not taking money directly from anywhere. So, if I keep things open at my home, see my kids are not thief, your land users are not thief, they would not spoil your server, but you never know there is a chance of having disgruntled employees in office. You know the definition of disgruntled employees. Disgruntled employees means one who is not happy with the salary. Disgruntled employee means one who is not happy with the boss behavior. Politics in the office, all these guys are very dangerous to this company. That is why there is a category called disgruntled employees. So, where are they? They are in the office. They can harm your servers. So, if you place your server in LAN, 100 percent you are making those servers vulnerable with attacks. And that is why we place those server in a zone called demilitarized zone, demilitarized zone. So, when we talk about firewall, firewall is having two interface, one is inside and one is outside. Inside means trusted, outside means untrusted, clear? Inside means trusted, but again I told you it is semi trusted. So, when I go home, I do not keep my money here and there because I considered my home as semi trusted. Correct? Vivek, you are laughing. I, I, I think you understood the joke. Okay? So, I hope you understood why we have demilitarized zone. Always remember you have to explain the interviewer two reasons. First reason, I want to separate my server from LAN users. Just now I told you no Adnan, we can name Adnan, Faizan, Himanshu, anything to the interface. 
yes you can name it okay himanshu you want to name your this thing if you like your name you can name it okay so let's say wait wait let's say i keep this as adnan and i keep this as himanshu and then i keep this as faizan okay so when i ask himanshu you know what is himanshu you will say yes sir i kept outside interface name as himanshu if i ask adnan you know what is the meaning of adnan here on the interface you will say sir i have kept this name for insight if i ask faizan that you know what is the meaning of faizan so he say yes i have kept this name for demilitarized zone so adnan faizan and himanshu clearly know about this interfaces because they have designed this names okay but tell me guys you are going to work lifelong in this company 60 years 70 years is it a government job faizan adnan and himanshu is it a government company or private company you are going to work lifelong in this company yes or no <laughs> then then if you leave the company and then comes vijay himmat and nadia then what they will think about these guys whether they know what is the meaning of faizan adnan and himanshu how they will come to know what is the meaning of this but if instead of himanshu adnan and faizan if i keep the name outside inside and dmz will they know anybody comes in any new engineer comes in he will out he will immediately understand what is the meaning of inside what is the meaning of outside what is the meaning of these are all default names guys so you think we should always keep names like that or we should keep inside outside and dmz on asa make some sense right but yes you can configure this name ha huh? he will accept that name firewall he will accept the name himanshu and adnan and faizan he won't ask you anything so first clear it out what is possible yes it is possible nobody can stop you from giving those names but the question is when you leave this company how the others will come to know what it signifies what is the significance of faizan adnan and himanshu okay so s per cisco default naming the naming is inside outside and dmz if you keep in also it will work if you keep out also it will work if you keep trusted also it will work if you keep untrusted it will work so yes some people like to keep trusted untrusted some people like to keep in out and some people like to keep inside and outside and dmz but remember when i am telling you that every interface lan wan also yes right every interface carries some level in asa and the security level is 0 to 100 0 means nobody can enter 100 means everything is allowed everything is allowed if you see i have drawn one picture here and this is zero and this. so if my car is standing here what do you think this car need petrol start anything to go down without petrol also it will come down everything is allowed from 100 towards zero so what is the criteria 
any traffic that is coming from high security level towards low security level is completely allowed completely allowed any traffic that is coming from low security level can you can you make your car go up without petrol from 0 to up 100 not possible in fact it is very difficult to bring this up even if you start the car so remember on firewall naming is compulsory and security level is also compulsory until unless you name the interface or set the level it will not work so the default security level is what zero why Com playing completely safe so what you think who will get 100 100 person inside because it is trusted who will get 0 outside because it is untrusted so any traffic that is coming from high security level to low security level so now I hope you understood the scenario ok so in this scenario in this topology you see I am having inside outside and DMZ so what is the default security level for inside it is 100 default security level for outside is 0 default security level for any other than inside outside is 0 safety ok now in firewall we have two terms called implicit policy and explicit policy have you heard about implicit and explicit anyone have you heard about implicit explicit maximum I told you know the range is 0 to 100 Adnan if you keep 0 for outside then you can keep 1 for inside that is ok 0 1 is higher than 0 any traffic that is traveling from security level 0 to 100 will be stopped by the firewall any traffic that is traveling from 1 to 0 will not be stopped like for example simple uh, when you buy an apartment when you buy a flat you can open the door from inside right and go anywhere whenever you want to go you open the door and go anywhere nobody is going to stop you right like for example if my son is going to school ok he can open the door and go out nobody is going to stop him going for tuitions going for playing going for any other activity he can open the door and go but suppose there is a you know a person coming from say uh, dry cleaning or you know there is a salesman coming they can't come directly and open the door and come inside no because they they are coming from outside they are coming from untrusted world so they can open the door and come easily outside from outside to inside they have to stop near the door they have to wait near the door ring the bell then somebody will come open the main door safety door is still lock she will ask my my wife or my mom or somebody in the house will ask who are you where you want to go why you ring the bell then this guy will tell ok I am AC repairer or I am going for I am coming for repairing this uh, uh, AC or servicing the AC or I am here for gas cylinder or I am here for telephone repair or I am here for whatever plumbing so once you confirm his profession you check your you check the ID card also like whenever a person coming to take the reading of the gas he will carry some ID and show you that I am from Mahanagar gas I am come here for reading so as per the policy which I have given to my people that whenever this kind of people comes in you allow him but suppose an unknown salesman comes and try to sell something you will lock the door or you will not open the door and you will kick him out you say sorry boss we don't want anything from you you are an untrusted person coming from untrusted area you are coming from security level 0 so whenever a traffic is coming from security level 0 towards high security is not allowed but 
it depends like suppose you so this is implicit policy this is what implicit rule this is what default rule what is the default rule any traffic that is coming from low security level to high security level will be intercepted stop not allowed any traffic that is coming from high security level towards low security level will be allowed without any issue clear now when i talk about implicit rule this is implicit rule security level security level 100 implicit rule but what about explicit rule explicit rule is instead of denying these people i allow them with some policy please keep yourself mute so any traffic that is coming from high security level to low security level is denied but if i implicit if i explicitly tell my firewall boss allow allow these people to come in that is called explicit policy like for example my son can go anywhere now i just now told you from inside to outside right everything is allowed but I will put one policy for my internal user also that they like for example I put a policy to my son you are not supposed to go out in night after 10 o'clock you are not supposed to go out strict policy till morning 6 you are not supposed to go out <coughs> no roaming in the night time no going for night shows no going for with friends in the night strict policy so now what is the problem what is the condition now see initially everything is allowed but once i put the policy that only from morning 6 to 10 you are supposed to go out after that you are not supposed to go out that this is a policy and this policy is called explicit policy firewall understand two policy one is implicit one is explicit implicit policy says everything is allowed from 100 to 0 and nothing is allowed from 0 to 100 implicit policy explicit policy says you are supposed to you know you are allowed but you are allowed only for www you are allowed for 443 you are allowed for 123 ntp you are allowed for um, 53 dns getting it so now what firewall will leave the implicit policy and he will follow explicit policy see asa is my my baby asa will listen what i am trying to tell him asa is in control of me asa is not controlling me i purchase asa from cisco so i will run asa i will run firewall man but yes it comes with a default policy right it comes with a default policy but later on i change it i say no i want this 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 things to be happen ASA says okay sir he is going to follow your orders he is not going to follow the implicit orders <laughs> but suppose if you are not giving orders he is going to follow implicit rule implicit rule means default rule implicit rule means default policy explicit rule means something which i design i give it to a asa that is called so always remember implicit explicit clear remember in firewall you should know these two terms implicit explicit clear so in asa you have what you have naming of the interface like they say newborn we always give newborn some name we we can we don't keep newborn without a name for you know it it's every every religion says within one or two day you should give him some name so same way my asa interfaces should be named my asa interface should carry some security level without that it will not work 100% it will not work 
दिस इज नॉट इन राउटर में राउटर में यू डोंट गिव नेम इन राउटर यू डोंट गिव सिक्योरिटी लेवल सी मेनी मस्ट बी थिंकिंग दैट ए एस ए इज नाउ बिकमिंग आउटडेटेड देन वाई वी आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ऑन बिकॉज सी यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस यू गाइज हैव सीन ओनली कार नाउ एंड मोटर बाइक्स इन इन आर डेज वी हैव सीन साइकल ऑल्सो so you should know no what is speed so if i am driving cycle and if i am driving my motor bike i understand what is the difference between the speed and other things comparison is important man you should know your legacy devices you should know your old devices i am not talking about pix firewall pix firewall is very like long back it got outdated pix was before asa Before peaks, nothing was there. Router was the firewall. Cisco claims that my router is a firewall, but he was stateless. We have stateful firewalls. ASA is a stateful firewall. Checkpoint is a stateful. Again, I'll just tell you that in Checkpoint, Checkpoint is a Israel-based company. He was having a cutthroat competition with Cisco. Now Palo Alto is having a cutthroat competition with Cisco. so this checkpoint was having a different implicit rule nothing will go out nothing will come in <laughs> see opposite i told you know when you learn one firewall you have to you will be it will be easy for you to understand other firewalls not a big difference yes but some changes are there like i told you asa allow the traffic to go from 100 to 0 checkpoint doesn't allow anything to come in anything to go out initially that is called implicit rule but what is explicit rule in checkpoint you create policy and then you start allowing traffic to go from inside to outside that is trusted to untrusted and untrusted to trusted try to understand the behavior of cisco firewall try to understand because see these are all interview questions guys if i am an interviewer i am going to ask you what is the difference between stateful and stateless what is the difference between security level what is the range of the security level what is the default policy implicit policy what is the meaning of explicit policy you should know all those terms you can see a topology in front of you in this topology you can see demilitarized zone you can see you can see in, in inside that is trusted you can see outside that is untrusted stateful means maintaining the state table stateless means not maintaining anything suppose one of my user from lan goes and access google on internet the return traffic will not stop because my firewall is going to maintain a table that 192.168.10.2 visited google so when he is visiting google he is going to get some reply from google no he is searching english movies or some recipe on google he will get reply that is called stateful behavior though the traffic is coming from security level 0 which says any traffic that is coming from security level 0 will be denied but no this traffic won't be denied why because it is stateful the table is being maintained the connection is being maintained source ip destination ip source port destination port if it is a tcp then what is the three way handshake they have done sing acknowledgement and sync acknowledgement three way handshake everything is maintained in the table man time stamp what is the time this is called state you know stateful behavior stateful means writing down the detail of a connection asa maintain the detail connection router don't maintain detail connection router say if the person is going out forget it so when he is coming back router will stop him he will say boss you are coming from outside you are not supposed to come in are he said are i just went out now i am coming back 
like for example you are going for a movie so when you go when you go near the gate then the ticket checker will always check your ticket okay good so i remember when i was in college days i took one ticket paper ticket i went inside so he said okay you are authorized to go because you are carrying a ticket for 6 to 9 show but suddenly i remembered that i have to bring water bottle earlier people were allowed to go out to bring snacks water bottle etc because theater snacks are very very costly water is also very very costly so the guy normally give a pass to go out but i was in a hurry so i just ran out i took water bottle and i lost the ticket so when i was coming back again he stopped me where is your ticket i said i lost it he said go back we won't allow you i said i was just now i went inside i get, i just went outside to bring a water bottle he said we show me the ticket i said i lost it he said go i won't allow you this is stateless behavior so the traffic which is going from high to low will be allowed from low to high if the connection table is maintained yes asa maintain that connection table that is why he is termed as what stateful clear guys you have to attend the lecture you have to sit and you know because see, i cannot go on repeating the terms yesterday this lecture in the session i explain what is stateful and stateless where were you adnan you have to leave everything and you have to attend the session now you see this is the topology suppose i start my topology i hope you understood what is the meaning of demilitarized zone what is the meaning of inside outside what is implicit rule what is explicit rule okay so in this scenario you have two lan users you have two servers you have perimeter router what is perimeter router can anyone tell me what is perimeter router r1 is termed as what perimeter router my own premises router edge router internet router let it start so i started my topology in this topology you try to understand i have place a firewall two switches this r3 r4 is like you know kind of a pc okay it's like a pc what is the port number for asa 32776 
Yes, of course, Adnan, you can have a question on the topology. You can ask. You want to speak or you you chat it? Why you have placed switch and router on the outside interface? This switch. So, in future I can do redundancy, I can do failover, HSRP, VRRP, GLBP. I can have a direct connection also, not a big deal. Okay. But I did this with some purpose. Best practice is yes, you can use switches, na? internal devices, LAN devices. You will not have direct connectivity, man. You will have multiple switches, hierarchy, you will have hierarchy of access layer, distribution layer, and core layer. Adding switch is not related to best practice or something. You can add, you cannot, you do not want, you do not add it. But better you add switch because when you do failover and all, you will be needing this switch topology. But if you are telling I do not want it, I can shut it down also, not a big deal. It is not going to make much difference. So, if I delete this, what will happen? I have to connect one interface like that. Simple. Okay. Now you are happy. This does not come under best practice, remember. It depends on the company's network. Every network is different network. You have to first study your network and then accordingly you place the firewall. Always remember security guard is near the gate only. He never sits on terrace. If you make him sit on terrace, what will happen? He will get a clear view. But how will stop the traffic? So, remember placement of firewall is very important. Where you are placing your firewall? Always people face near what? Internet. Because all your bad traffic, all your attacks is going to come from internet. That is your shared infrastructure. Okay. So, I just restart, I just start my ASA. When I start my ASA, he will ask me whether you want to go for an initial setup, say no. It is similar what you have studied in CCNA router, step by step configuration. You do not want to do that, so say no. By default, the name of Cisco ASA is Cisco ASA only. You just say enable, the password is blank. There is no password for ASAs. How many modes are there in router? Can anyone tell me how many modes are there in router? Come on, guys, you should know the router. Otherwise, I will not allow you to enter in this training if you do not know router. Come on, fast, answer me. Anyone? I am asking you modes. We are starting from configuration mode. Start is what? Configuration mode. Start is user exe mode. User exe mode. Second is privilege mode. Third is global configuration mode. 
fourth fourth is what interface mode fifth is what line mode sixth is what roman mode how many modes are there on router go in sequence user exe mode privilege mode global configuration mode interface mode line mode roman mode if you uh, if you don't know write it down make a note every mode is having a significance user exe you can't do anything so you say enable when you say enable you enter into privilege mode your privilege level what is the default privilege level when you enter into privilege mode have you ever heard about that show level or something like that seven privilege level is seven sure how many privilege levels are there how many 0 to 15 16 levels man not 15 0 to 15 na okay so just yeah just study and come acha now in as how many modes are there on router you have six mode user exe privilege global configuration interface line line with ty04 and then roman mode for uploading ios or for breaking the password rom monitor mode in asa you have again user exe mode asa also user exe mode second is what global configuration mode here also you have global configuration mode what is the third mode sorry second mode is privilege third is global so in asa also you have user exe you have privilege mode you have global configuration mode you have interface mode you don't have line mode but you have roman mode for breaking the password and uploading the ios so on asa you have five modes user exe privilege global configuration mode interface mode and roman mode make a note there is no line vty something like that line console line auxiliary that we don't have here on asa commands are little bit different show ip route is not there the command is show route show in ip interface brief is not there the command is what show interface ip brief ip interface ne interface ip ulta if i want to remove the configuration of a firewall i can say clear configure all i don't have to write erase and reload i don't have to write erase and reload i can stay on asa and re remove all the configuration of course i am having a privilege of 15 i can do anything If you really want to practice this in your company, go and practice. Clear, configure all. After one hour, you will be kicked out of the company. So don't do that. <laughs> don't practice this. Okay? Clear, configure all. You practice in your company's ASA, you will be kicked out. Anyway, you won't have that privilege. Also, when you log in with the username and password, your privilege level. or your script is attached where you can't use these commands also all these commands are off they won't give you these commands uh, l1 engineers l2 engineers only l3 engineers uh, can go into this and do all those stuff 
होस्ट नेम इज देर सो आई जस्ट से होस्ट नेम ए से इनेबल पासवर्ड इज देर देर इज नो इनेबल सीक्रेट दिस इज द ओनली सीक्रेट पासवर्ड ओनली शोरन कैन वर्क इन एनी वे फ्रॉम एनी वेयर कॉन्फ्लिक मोड इंटरफेस मोड एनी वेयर यू डोंट हैव टू यूज डू कमांड एनी वेयर सो लेट्स कॉन्फिगर द इंटरफेसेस नाउ एज अ बेसिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इंटरफेस ई जीरो आई पी एड्रेस ट्वेंटी डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट वन टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट टू फाइव फाइव डॉट जीरो ऑलवेज गिव दिस अपनेट मास से नो शर्ट administratively shut down name if outside when i give name if outside the security level is by default zero interface e1 ip address 192.168.10.1255.255.255.0 no shut name if inside you see the security level is 100 interface e2 IP address 10.1.1.255.255.255.0 no shut name if DMZ DMZ is not a recognized name so security level is default I say security level is 50 can anyone tell me why I kept it 50 looking at the diagram I kept zero for for the traffic which is coming from internet zero I kept hundred for the traffic which is in uh, in my lan i kept 50 for demilitarized zone why i kept 50 can someone explain me why the reason what's the reason why i'm keeping 50 for demilitarized zone fast no one okay just because i want to play safe i told you my gr- i am having a ground floor apartment so i open a medical store when somebody comes in into my medical store he should not enter my house so what i'll do i will trap or i will keep a door behind me this door will not allow any traffic to go inside my house or living room or bedroom or kitchen i will see that one of the room which is facing outside carries this medical store or dispensary or general store same way if anyone come to my demilitarized zone he should not go inside the land now he won't go why because the security level is 50 and the security level of this is 100 so low to high won't work with the implicit rule just now i explained you what is implicit rule so any traffic coming towards demilitarized zone cannot enter my land without any policy this is the safety that is why i kept it 50 and 100 for high so high to low i yes i can come high to low but i cannot go low to high i told you no low to high is not allowed clear I want to make one of the interface as management interface. I want to make what? One of the interface as management interface. When you act, when you actually buy a box, you will get management interface also. So what I'll do? I'll go to interface E3, and I'm going to convert this into management interface. So I say. some ip address remember every interface should carry a different subnet security level i'll keep 100 show interfaces is the command to find out the configuration 
show interface brief sorry show interface ip brief or if you say show interface detail or you say show interface question mark works show interface ip brief you can see all the interfaces are up protocol is also up by default all the interfaces are down administratively down ok wr works for copy run and start so i hope today i explained you the basic of asa firewall and i explain you how the security level works why the security level is 0 and 150 what is implicit rule and explicit rule ok so we will end the session today here only I think tomorrow we do not have session ok because I have some work so I will not be taking session I will message you in the group ok any questions any queries you can download evng simulator and you can practice i will give you the images you can download evng and you can download it is free available on evng site i will give you the labs i will give you the images or you can make your own lab also not a big deal go to youtube and learn how to configure it how to install ok bye take care have a nice day thank you very much